everybody, Gamer Penny here, bringing you another episode of our Dragon Age Origins Let's Play. And we are back with our Dwarf Warrior Isobar. Um, we just finished up in Denerim, running around the alien, not the alienage, we couldn't get in the alien alienage. Running around Denerim uh, markets, running around some of the back alley stuff. Um, and then we came back to camp. And they, I want to talk to our group and see how we're doing here. So something on your mind? Hey, uh, do you have of course. anything new for me? Never mind. Okay, Zevran, you have anything to say to me? Here I am. Hey, yes, here you are. Um, I want to discuss something personal. Again? I'm game. Never mind. <laughs> and then Liliana is really who I wanted to talk to because we, if you didn't see two episodes ago, um. I kind of killed her mentors. Oh, hello. Is there something you wanted to talk about? Yeah, I just, uh, I'd like to talk about what happened today. Uh, no, I thought you looked like you wanted to talk, though. It's, it's nothing. I'm fine. I'm just thinking. Less talkative than usual. I can't get what happened out of my head. I'd been in Lothering for years. And she still thought I was plotting against her. She didn't trust me. Maybe she never did. She loved me when she could use me and control me. And now that she can't, she wants me dead. Yeah, it, she's dead. It hurts to realize that I never really knew her. Is there anything I can do? You are already helping so much by listening to me. I knew she was ruthless. But I didn't know how far she could go. She is self-serving. Cruel. She uses people, then discards them. But that's how she survives in the life she leads. What? What if she's right? What if we're the same? I... I should just have stayed in the Chantry. Um... We would have never met if you hadn't. You don't understand. I forgot my life as a bard while I was in the cloister. I felt safe. I didn't have to watch my back all the time. That's what made Marjolaine the person she is, don't you see? It ruined her. It will ruin me too. It's already happened. When we killed her, I... I enjoyed it. Seeing her dead gave me satisfaction. Um... Ah, uh, gosh, what do we say to her? She did you a great injustice. But that is no reason to rejoice over her death. That is what she would do. I don't want that. What we're doing. What we've done. Hunted men down. Killed them. Part of me loves it. It invigorates me, and this scares me. I... I feel myself slipping. Um, Marjolaine chose who she became, so can you. How can you be so sure? Evil doesn't worry about not being good. That, that <laughs> is true. I can always trust you to show me things from a different perspective. I would like to be alone for now. I have many things to consider. Thank you for listening to me. What? I wanted to make out. <laughs> it has been some time since I left okay. Lothering. When I stepped out of the cloister, I had no idea where my path would lead. I walked where the Maker led me, and he has rewarded me for my faith. I found you. Um. <laughs> Are you saying I'm a gift from the Maker? Something like that. <laughs> the Maker wants his children to be happy. Would he have created in us the capacity for love if he did not intend for us to find it? True. Then I thank the Maker for bringing us together. You don't know how it makes me feel to hear you say that. But now it's getting late. I think I might turn in early. I can't help thinking about how soft and warm my bedroll is. Uh, <laughs> um... Hmm. Want some company? You're welcome to join me, of course. The Maker says we must share our blessings. <gasps> Are we in? <laughs> Are we in, boys? Uh... <laughs> what 
Well, I'm not going to say no to sharing of blessings. Good. Now come with me before I lose my patience. Uh-oh. Do we have to fade to black? Uh-oh. Well, well, well. Close your eyes, kids. <laughs> She just staring at us. Hello. Hey. <laughs> hey. Um. You look smug. What's going on? I was watching you sleep. Yeah, like a Did creeper. You know your eyelids flutter when you dream, <laughs> and you have such pretty eyelashes. Not just my lashes that are pretty. So I hear. I'm so happy, blissful. I haven't slept so well since I was forced to flee from all eggs. Knowing you will be the first thing I see when I wake gives me no small amount of comfort. I feel safe in your arms. Safe, loved, and accepted. This is where I belong. Thank you. I should be the one thanking you. Wait, this does feel right. And natural. I suppose I should get up. We have a long day ahead of us. I don't feel like getting up. Come on. <laughs> Darkspawn await with bated breath for you to put them out of their misery. Oh, right. Blasted Darkspawn. Oh, no. We're gonna say, and ignore the beautiful woman in my bed? I think not. What are you... Oh, I see. Mm. <laughs> I suppose the Darkspawn will just have to wait a bit longer. Oh, we're going round two. Okay. <laughs> Wine woman is on. Achievement unlocked. Uh, can I see those achievements somewhere by any chance? Player profile? Ah! You got uh, completed the Dwarf Noble, completed Ostagar, sided with the Elves in Nature of the Beast, which was not my intention, but we did it anyway. Main character learned a specialization, experienced the thrill of romance with Liliana, killed 100 Darkspawn. Completed an origin story without the main character ever falling in battle. Completed Ostagar without the main character ever falling in battle. Completed a Chanter's Board quest. Used a tome to improve the main ca character's attributes, talents, spells, or skills. Crafted an item. Crafted 25 items. Disabled a trap. Picked a lock on a chest or door. Successfully picked someone's pocket. I forgot we could do that. Completed Soldier's Peak. Took advantage of Avernus's research. Defeated the ogre that killed King Kalian. Alright, done. Okay. Exit game. We done. <laughs> we, uh, we accomplished what I was setting out to do. Hey, Mag Morgan. Um, you know that I slept with Liliana? She has I something to say about it. Command. Uh, I like to discuss something We're personal. in camp, so tis as good a time as any. Never mind. Okay, she doesn't care. Good. Uh, well, we romance Liliana. So, um, that's our boo, I guess, from now on. Okay. I think it's time. I know we forgot to talk to Sten, but... Indeed. It, it is what Indeed. it is. Indeed. Yes. Let's go... Somewhere new. We went to Denerim. Couldn't get to the alienage. We finish that, finish that, finish that. No reason to go back here quite yet. Um, you know what we should do? Where was Sten's... Sten's, uh, this one. Sten revealed to you the reason he went berserk and killed the farmers. He woke without his sword. The Barisad value their swords highly and do not part with them until death. The thought that his sword might be lost drove Sten into a mindless rage. You told Sten that you would try to track down his sword. But where would that Indeed. be? Indeed. Yes. Pass. Oh, should we return here and see if um let's go back up here. Do they have the trading all set up yet? What's this? Hey, Levi. 
You got things set up here yet? Oh. Party storage. <gasps> yes, please. Please, dear God, let me get this stuff out of my... Um... This over here. Bond book. Stick. This fat loot. This Grey Warden hand puppet. Let's just get all this stuff over there. Please. Got a lot of gifts in here and stuff. Does this have a um a max amount that it can have or no? Okay. Um I think we'll keep the cells and stuff on us, because you never know when we're gonna need some. Um village battery plus ten electric damage really have a uh, need for electricity damage, but I put kale and stuff on. Although we should probably put um, alien stuff on Alistair. Now that I'm thinking about it, so let's do that. Um, I think we're, okay, I think we're good. All right, now you have a bunch of, wait, what's this? Smithy? Hey. You? You're the warden? My family owes you. Any weapons I make, I will sell you for a discount. Well, thank you. Can I see your wares? Oh, I do Cool. Okay, so... Levi's nephew. Our family owes you a great deal. Um... Levi, uh, do you have Levi's general store? So we can talk to Levi. Welcome back, Warden. Hey. As you can see, we've been busy. Clean the place up a bit. Even my brother Mikhail came out of hiding. Never will you find a finer smith. Also, got some goods stored here that might interest you. Buy them now before my cousins move it all someplace else. Okay. Um, did you tell, well, what, did you tell your family about Sophia? I thought about it, but I figured that it's not a bad thing to believe that you come from a line of lions. Even True. if the truth is a touch more complicated. Our family's belief that we were wronged. It gave us strength to make something of ourselves. Okay. Um... What do you think of Sophia? King Arlen sounded like a right nasty piece of work. Sophia was branded a traitor. She consorted with blood mages. But in spite of it all, I think she was a hero. Cool. I'd like to see your wares. Certainly. Do you have... Backpack. Spirit healer. You don't have a backpack. What in the... Where do I get all these backpacks then? Uh, we're gonna need to make some more healing potions. Do you have healing potions? You do. I'm gonna get three of these from you. Um, and I'm also... I never found where to buy the next healing recipes either. Okay, yeah, I'm ready. Um, what's this? <laughs> what's the Civil War thing here? Redcliffe Village, Redcliffe Castle, we've done. Village of Haven. Oh. Oh. <laughs> um. Right, well, I, I wanna. What is this? I wanna see what this is. I don't know if this is a good idea. I should have saved. Probably should have saved. <laughs> oh god, is that a... Huh. 
abomination just ended up here on the road. Ah! Run while you can! Tear them apart! Okay. Just like one. Ow. One abomination standing here, huh? Feldspar ring. Interesting. Reynold, you, you okay? <laughs> Reynold's journal. New codex. Reynold's plea. Quest updated. No, no, no. I wanted to see what quest is. You found. Oh, Mage's Collector. You found Reynolds' body along with the abomination that killed him. Reynolds' journal tells the tale of his last days returned to the Collector for your own. Oh, okay. This was a quest. I will take this out for you. Okay. Yes. I'm ready. Go see what this is. I probably should have saved again. Get your horses off Van Talman's land. We won't bend needle again. Logain is the regent. He demands your. We're not Orlesian lick spittles. We owe no man our allegiance. Leave! Take their lands by force, men. Uh oh. Regent's orders. Oh, uh, whose side are we on? Uh, Ban Orn. Ban Tegan? Is this it? So we're killing Logain's men. Okay. <laughs> Let's go. I gotta change our own tactics. Um. <laughs> So that we don't have to do this berserk, waste time doing the berserk every single time. Okay, you guys are fine. I'm gonna go get this sergeant down. Okay. Quest updated. Oh, it's a chantry's board. You have disrupted Logan's forces and no doubt hampered his plans. Return to the chantry board to report this tragic loss. <laughs> Logan's gonna be pissed. Alright, so those were just just some side quests, which okay. I can do a little side quest cleanup every every so often. Now and I'm totally not stalling. Um because I don't know where I wanna go next. Talk we to you. Showed those Logan upstarts. You sure did. Good job. Alright. We gotta make a decision now. Do we wanna do Mage Tower? Do we wanna do the Village of Haven? Or do we want to do Frostback Mountain? Oh God. This is going to be awful. <laughs> We're doing Mage Tower. This is going to be a... Uh, Mage Tower, I think, is you again. Hey, do you have anything new? Do you have coins, stranger? <laughs> the doors yes. are marked. Fine weapon. I know, I know. Let's me. see this discount of yours. Maybe if you came up with something new, um, I would want stuff from you. I would like to sell to you. Bye, see you later. Yep. Okay, so Mage Tower, it's not bad, it's just... Oh, <laughs> just... Who are you? Back off! I was here first! Uh, so you haven't seen a sword line around here, have you? Why, you looking to buy one? Only if it's a Canary Blade. A Q what? Probably be large and unwieldy. Well, honestly, I don't have any swords. The spot was picked pretty clean when I got here. I got part of a glove. The wolves didn't chew too badly, though. I think it was a glove, anyway. <laughs> I know, don't say it. I got cheated. I knew the guy who was here before me. He sold me this spot. Said he found giants and all kind of crazy valuables. He didn't mention that he'd taken everything but the bones and the dirt already. His name's Ferrin. Squirrely little bastard, if you ask me. Which you didn't, but I said it anyway. <laughs> um, where is he now? He was going to Orzammar, he said. Mm. I imagine he's gotten there by now. If you find him, tell him I sent you. It'll scare the piss out of him. Ah. 
Okay, well, that was unexpected for us to find that, but, um, sword's on its way to Orzammar. Death route. Can I get you a ladder so you can get off my back? Nope. The good thing about mages, I find, I'll get on is that they die much like any other. Uh, you just need to worry about what happens before that. <laughs> Zephyr. <laughs> get this death root. Carol. And, uh, got a couple things to loot down here. Looks like there's some questies over I'll there. Get on it. This. That. Thug, Samael the Deserter. I have something for you, I think. Now's better than later. I'll take these to sell them. What business would the mighty Grey Wardens have with a man like me? Here on behalf of the Blackstone Irregulars. Oh? What is this about? Here you stole supplies from the guild. How sad it is to see a Grey Warden manipulated. But I have no time to straighten this out for you. Men. Let's teach the Grey Warden a lesson about trust. You know I'm a Grey Warden. You're going to kick your ass. All right, all right. Let us end this. Let's make this quick. Is that all you've got? I'll try to be mad with this one. Another battle, I think. It is done. Got it. All right, got the guild supplies. Got lots of quests, um, done. Okay, one thing I want to do before we go on. Isobar. Uh, self. Threaten. Shield cover. Taunt. I want... Can I make... Can I move these, like... Here. Okay, okay, okay. Um. Put this up, and we're gonna put... Self any and change it to um berserk save to a custom okay that way we can always have it on huh keep me it's a mode right like it's a yeah okay um got a couple people to talk to here but first i'm gonna go in here what's happening Okay, we got stuck in Zevran's head. There's a chest, shady patron, disgruntled patron, Alarana. Yes. I have a letter for you from the Blackstone Irregulars. All right, let me take a look. No, I can't believe this. I won't. <laughs> Sorry, girl. Hey, how you doing? Good day, and welcome to the spoiled princess. Is there something I can get for you? Any suspicious activity around your inn? Uh, of course not. Why do you ask? Have you seen Brother Genitivi here? Brother Gen... Uh, no. Uh, no, of course not. I've never heard of him. Are you sure? Uh, I know everyone staying at my inn, and I've not heard of this person. Sounds like you're not telling me everything. Nonsense. Why would I lie to you? Listen, the person you're looking for isn't here. You should be on your way as soon as possible. You're in some sort of trouble, you can trust me. No, I'm not in any kind of trouble. If you want ale, wine, or a warm bed for the night, I can help you. If not, I have nothing else to offer. Uh-huh. Uh, hey, I'm gonna... I'm gonna lockpick your chest here. Yes, of course. <laughs> and take these. Um... Hey. Ha, water down ale, damp beds, rickety stools. Why do I even bother? Can't get out this door. So there's no one staying here. Or so he says. Um. Welcome back to the spoiled princess. <laughs> How may I serve you today? Why is... I was just looking around. Of course. If there's anything I can get Wait. you, just let me know. Wait, I just want to... Welcome back to the spoiled... Like a drink. Of course. What would you like? You have a backpack? <laughs> No, it's not a drink. Prentice's amulet. Wine. A gift. I'm gonna buy that. Gold resist. Fire resist. Armor. Fire resist. Man, you know, um, fire resist would be really nice uh, where we're going. But, 
um, sorry, just doing a little okay. trading. All right, now we now that we have the bag space, we can do that sort of crap. All right, so oh god, okay, hey, cultist, cultist, cultist leader. All right, so this is the Jenna TV stuff, huh? Enemies ahead. On your guard, Brad. Another battle, I see. Too easy. Time for a little bloodletting, I see. I'm gonna go get this archer in the back. Someone's gonna fall, and it sure won't be me. Watch out! You're gonna regret this. You think they would run right. away more? You think they would run away more? Right. Done and done. Give me that sweet, sweet money. Ceremonial armor. Not bad. I'm gonna sell it. Okay, we got completely ambushed. Um, man, if we had our dog, he'd pee on this. <laughs> Hey, Kester. Oh, I bless my soul. What's a distinguished personage like yourself doing here? Are you a mage? A mage? Me? <laughs> That'll be the day, I tell you. That will be the day. I'm the ferryman. Leastwise, I used to be. Poor old Kester. Out of a job. But I can't get across? Wait, why? I don't got a clue. They wouldn't tell me. Gregor just came down and said, Don't you worry, Kester. We got it all under control, we do. Didn't say nothing else. And then he puts Carol in charge of my boat. Lissy. Named for my grandmum she was. Who's Gregor? He's Knight Commander of the Templars up in the tower. Good man. They Ron up at the tower? I told you, they didn't tell me nothing. And if I know they're mages, I'm better off keeping out of their business. If I had to guess, I'd guess it had to do with magic. But the tower's always got something to do with magic. Um, is there no way to get across? You could try swimming, but I don't <laughs> recommend it. Nasty things in that lake. I yeah. reckon it's all them potions they dump in there. Gregor's told me to stay here till it blows over, but I'm telling you, some storms don't blow over easy. I could convince the Templars to let me in. Maybe you could at that. I'm sure your mind's all afire now, eh? So you know the Knight Commander Gregor well? Oh, I can't say that. I'm lucky he's good enough to give me the time of day. The first enchanter's hmm. all right. He's polite as can be, but he's always a little distant if you get my drift. But Gregor will stay to talk. I reckon he likes hearing from us common folk, you know? He's a man to be respected, that Gregor. Okay. What are your opinions on the circle? Well, I reckon it's good for them mages. Gather them all, learn them some proper magics. I know what they say about mages, but... The Maker made them for a purpose. If you can't trust him, who can you trust? I can't stay. Goodbye. Or good day, right. Gester. Keep safe, you hear? Okay, um, and then... A little something extra. For friendship. What? Oh, I turned stuff in there. Okay. Now they just collected bags. Alright, I will... Up all of the... Okay. Cool. Um, hey, I'm gonna talk to that innkeeper again and see if he's got something new now that uh, we got ambushed. You did something. Welcome back to the Spoiled Princess. How may I serve you today? Never of mind. course. If there's anything I can get you, just let me know. So what do I do now with the, uh... What are you looking at? Can a man drink in peace? No, screw you. What do I do now with the Jenna TV stuff? I guess we'll find out. Alright, let's go talk to Carol here. This was the quest uh, that I'm dreading the most. One, because I don't, I'm, I'm going to choose, it's an opposite playthrough, and I always choose a certain thing when we come here. I'm going to choose something that is not going to be popular. <laughs> you! You're not looking to get across to the tower, are you? Because I have strict orders not to let anyone pass. 
Why? I need to get to the tower. No one gets to the tower. No one. The tower is off limits to all. A Grey Warden. Let me in. Oh, you're a Grey Warden, are you? Prove it. Uh, I don't have to prove anything to you. So I'm not good enough for you. <laughs> Fine. See if you get into the tower on your own. Superior won't like that you've given me trouble. He won't know if you never get in, will he? Oh, I've outsmarted you. If I were more oh, flexible, God. I'd pat myself on the back. <laughs> Dumbass. Uh, I warn you, my patience is wearing thin. Uh, is that bad? <laughs> Look, I'm uh, just worked. trying to do my job. I'll take you right now, just like you wanted. Why would they put the dumbest guy out here? Yes, please do. Come along, I suppose. <laughs> Alright, to the mage tower. I can't believe that's the first time one of our intimidates worked. And I want two men stationed within sight of the doors at all times. Do not open the doors without my express consent. Is that clear? Yes, sir. Now we wait and pray. You're Gregor, I assume. Who are you? I explicitly told Carol not to bring anyone across the lake. Oh, he's We're a dumbass. dealing with a very delicate situation. You must leave for your own safety. But I seek the mage's help to defeat the Darkspawn. I am weary of the Grey Warden's ceaseless need for men to fight the Darkspawn, but it is their right. You'll find no allies here. The Templars can spare no men, and the mages are indisposed. I shall speak plainly. The tower is no longer under our control. Uh -oh. Abominations and demons stalk the tower's halls. The circle is lost. The tower has fallen. Uh, how did this happen? We don't know. We saw only demons. Hunting Templars and Mages alike. I realized we could not defeat them and told my men to flee. Oh, God. Uh, you should have fought them. They took us by surprise. We were prepared for one or two abominations. Not the horde that fell upon us. What is your plan? Why didn't you rally your men and kill them all? I will destroy the tower, raise it to the ground. But I cannot risk more of my men. The doors remain shut, and they will protect us for now. You... Uh, has nothing emerged yet? No. And perhaps the Maker smiles on us. We do not mean for the doors to stay closed forever. Everything in the tower must be eliminated. I have sent word to Denerim calling for reinforcements and the right of annulment. The right of annulment? The right of annulment gives Templars the authority to neutralize the Mage Circle. Completely. This situation is dire. There is no alternative. Everything in the tower must be destroyed so it can be made safe again. Um... It's unfortunate, but I see you have little choice. No one could have survived those monstrous creatures. It is too painful to hope for survivors and find nothing. So sure, why why wait for the right of or when did you send word to Denerim? A while ago, and it worries me. The civil war has no doubt caused much turmoil. Has the Chantry been caught up in it? I can only guess. Denerim must have received our message. It cannot be much longer. If I help deal with the circle, will you lend me aid? If, by some miracle, you destroy the abominations, yes. The Templars will join your army. Without word from Denerim, I must determine our course. Surely destroying Darkspawn is a worthy goal. We have an agreement, then. Or is that all you can offer me? We have nothing to offer you, but gratitude and service. I have heard the tower holds many valuable artifacts. I expect we'll have to consider them lost or destroyed. All right. Very well, we have a deal. A word of caution. 
Once you cross that threshold, there is no turning back. The great doors must remain barred. I will open them for no one until I have proof that it is safe. I will only believe it is over if the first enchanter stands before me and tells me it is so. If Irving has fallen, then the circle is lost and must be destroyed. May Andraste lend you her courage, whatever you decide. Okay. Um, so. Trigger. The vase. All right, all right. That. Quartermaster. I wish this were over. We're running low on supplies, and I don't know how much longer we'll last. Your supplies for sale? Yes. Would you like to trade? Yeah. Because do you have a backpack? <laughs> you do! I'll take that. Okay. I'll also take... Uh, a hundred and six, dear God. Oh, look at it, though. Two to all attributes, 20% nature resistance, one mana regen in combat, one stamina regen in combat, ten physical resistance. That's not worth the money, though. Like, I wish you could come and, um, it sounds awful. I wish you could come and <laughs> kill these guys and then, uh, loot what they had for sale. Okay. I think I'm good. Here that uh all right. Let's do a quick um quick save. Because I don't think that we can come back out once we're finished. Yeah. Or we can't come out until we're finished, I mean. Man, I wish we could turn the textures back up a little bit. Okay, dead mages, stuff everywhere. Find a few pages from a diary. Liliana, you want to get this? This cowl. Vanity. Can I get you a ladder so you can get off my back? Pile of filth. I will take that. Okay. and mages are all dead around here. Um, I think this is where you start. Got it. Now um, than later. if you're a mage, a human mage. Being a non-human, I don't think so. I think you can be an elf mage. I'm not sure actually. I'm usually a mage, and I'm usually a human mage, so I can marry Alistair. <laughs> That's just, uh, just my thing. Okay, another apprentice cowl. Back that way. Alright, let's head here. Oh god. Hey, Wynn. It's you. No, come no further. Grey Warden or no, I will strike you down where you stand. Wynne, what are you doing here? I am a mage of the Circle. More importantly, why are you here? The Templars would not let just anyone by. Helping Gregor resolve the Circle's difficulties. Then you do serve the Templars, as I feared. Do they have the right of annulment? No, but Gregor expects it to arrive soon. So Gregor thinks the circle is beyond hope. He probably assumes we are all dead. They abandoned us to our fate. But even trapped as we are, we have survived. If they invoke the right, however, we will not be able to stand against them. We waste time here when there are abominations. Wait, what happened here? Let it suffice to say that we had something of a revolt on our hands led by a mage named Aldred. When he returned from the battle at Ostagar, he tried to take over the circle. As you can see, it didn't work out as he had planned. I don't know what became of Aldred, but I am certain all this is his doing. I will not lose the circle to one man's pride and stupidity. Oh, 
God. I'm gonna say, and yet you were sitting here this whole time? I tried to help the children get out, but the doors were locked. No one responded when I called for help. What else was I supposed to do? I erected a barrier over the door leading to the rest of the tower, so nothing from inside could attack the children. You will not be able to enter the tower as long as the barrier holds, but I will dispel it if you join with me to save this circle. So, <laughs> here's where uh, I have never ever made this decision before. Um, I usually side with the mages in every single playthrough, and I don't know what the other side looks like. So I'm going to say I disagree. Annulment is the only option. What? But I told you there are innocent mages still alive who have nothing to do with these demons and abominations. But you offered no concrete proof. We can search the tower. I will only accept the circle's loss once I see that no one else lives. Then we should set off immediately. You want us to assist this <laughs> preachy schoolmistress to rescue these pathetic excuses for mages? They allow themselves to be corralled like cattle, mindless. Now their masters have chosen death for them, and I say, let them have it. Man, I thought she would hate that, but, uh, hold your tongue, my harpy. Um. Why do you treat the circle with such scorn? Look at how they live. Servants of the Chantry. They lack respect for themselves and their own power. Why should I respect them? Perhaps you were right after all. Of course I am right. Save her. Save them all from this half-life. Your advisor is an apostate. You are more dangerous than I imagined. When? And you will enter this tower over my dead body. We will give you your wish, old woman. What? When? Wait! <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> I've never had <laughs> this before. When? What in the world? In front of the children? <laughs> okay. All right, well, I'm gonna go kill the old bat. Hey, and I will kill this guy, Keenan. Kelly. No chance. No chance at all. That is the first time I have ever killed Wynn. Dang, dude. Uh, Wynn's a party member, by the way, so we just made a decision that lost us a party member. I knew going into this playthrough, uh, that I was gonna make that decision, so it's not a big deal. That's why I, um, didn't really, <laughs> didn't really, um, build our party around needing a healer. I, I usually come here first, get her, get her, cause she's a healer. Um, and use her throughout the whole playthrough. That's usually how I play this, um, this playthrough, but, hey, what do you know? You can, you, I didn't know you, you straight up killed Win. I didn't know that. Are the game safe? Where does this go? Second floor. This is just going around here. It goes back to the corner. Okay. Well, I'm going to go here and see what's here. Uh-huh. What do we got? Rage Abomination, Desire, and take out the Desire. <laughs> You're an ugly Desire Abomination, i do that. Rage Abomination. Quit oh, <laughs> blowing up on me, man. Okay, let's get what we can. All right, all right. All these codexes are going to be really good for XP, actually. Oh, and we got a quest out of it. All right, all right. All right, all right. Oh. Don't you have to touch these in a, or a certain order? Dang it. Get up already. Fellow books. 
Can I get you a ladder so you can get off my okay. back? Um, summoning the first, second, third, table carving spot. Ow. Spirit person. Okay. I guess Gorvish. Ow. Oh, that stopped. So. Okay. That one's right. That's not right. What about this? Novice phylactery? Oh. Alright, I gotta touch this. This one. Actually, do we have a quest for this? Uh, Circle of Magi. Summoning sciences. A textbook of arcane summoning rituals. It would be unwise and altogether unsafe to engage in such sexuality with the library in its present state. Gonna, gonna do it. <laughs> Alright. I've got so many font. Okay, that one's glowing. Oh, they don't stay glowing. Interesting. What's what do you do here? Ow. Okay. Crap. I'm not sure. Is this a puzzle? Like what am I? Hey, how's it going? <laughs> So I guess this is not working. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, um pile of rigs. Can I get you a ladder so you can get off my back? What's this? Rotter Crumb's Uncommon Calling. Can't touch it. Okay. Ow. Okay. What? So I touched that. Um, let's touch this thing over here, the one that worked over here, and then touch the summoning one. hurt us now. Well, is it gonna hurt us again if I touch it? No. What the heck? Oh god. What happened? <laughs> Spirit hawk. Okay. Gotta garn it. <laughs> All that for that? I must have messed it up. <laughs> hey. Got it. Okay. So the first one's gone. So I'm so And I can't touch anything. Oh here. Can I get you a ladder oh. so you can get off my back? Okay, this one. And then let's summon that one then. Is that how this works? So I touch one that went blue. And then hit the summoning font. Then hit this. Ow. Ow. That's not how it works. Um. Well, I'm gonna touch this. Hit the summoning font and hit the third one. Can I get you a ladder so you can get off my back? I have no idea what I'm doing, guys. I'm just touching stuff. I'll get on it. That didn't work. Um, what's this do? This hurt? All right, all right. Yeah, okay. Does this one hurt? Got it. Okay, that one works. Nope. All right. Born Grand Bestiary. How do I touch something else? This? <gasps> Summoning font? No. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I've, I, I don't, I don't know what I'm doing. Okay. I touched this. 
that worked. When I touched that next, it, it hurt. But when I touched the carving spot, it was okay. Can I get you a ladder? What so about if I touch this? I'll get on it. No. Okay. Now is better than later. Oh no. Okay. What this? Hope that hurts. I'll get on it. Hurts. Huh. I don't quite uh quite get it. Well, what if I did this and this? Would this work? No. Okay. If I did this and then this. Nope. Okay, so there's two. There's two different more things we gotta do. There's Got this it. one. Uh, what if I did that and this? Did. Is there a thing that tells me? <laughs> like, am I just. I found a text with Chris Simon Richards, being wise, and I look at safety to gauge the hidden in the library. It wasn't. Gas and towers, loud and apprentice stumble across something ancient and hidden. Find all of his notes and reveal possible secret in the tower. Is, um. I got one of them. I mean, I got a nug. I can touch this and it's fine. Can I get you a ladder? That hurts. So you can get off my back. Okay. Right. That just straight up hurts. That straight up hurts. So I gotta touch the other ones first for things to. Let's see. Do we have a new. Summoning sciences. It summons the drill. Oh! Exercise one. Dress the summoning font. Select a second patch from Tony Spirit. Okay, 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 okay. Address the summoning font. Recite the Rotterkam's uncommon column first. Place one silver coin at the feet of the statue of Margus. Pass open hands through the second summoning font. Okay. Summoning font. Rotterkam's uncommon calling. Mar Magus. Okay, okay. I'm glad I looked at that. Summoning right, font. Right. Then we want Rottercom's. Now it's better than later. Then we want the statue. Then we want the second. Trickster whim. What? <laughs> Go went away. Mess it up. Now they should be back, right? Two, three. Okay. Then we had. Uh, the third one. Jeez. Alert Senior Magi of Lesson Commencement. Dress the summoning font. Recite the second passage of Elvorn's Grand Bestiary. So, font, Elvorn's, table, jeez, okay. Spirit Hog, Trickster Whim. It doesn't say what this third one is. All right, touch the font, Elvorn's, and then Sigil. Touch the font. Now's better than later. I'll get on it. Okay, I guess we touched it already. Touch the font, Elvorn's. All right, all right. And then the table. And then, Elvorn, Table, Spiritorium, Etheralis, 
at two fingers at the statue. Alice. Okay. I'll get on it. Two fingers at the statue. I know we are over on time, guys. I'm sorry. It's a puzzle. <laughs> I'm not gonna. I don't handle puzzles well. And then touch the phylactery. And then I think it's the summoning circle. Phylactery. The third summoning flames. All right. It's probably going to be like a, a boss. Oh, God. Fade Rifter. Okay. All right. Well, charred mitts. Plus 10 electricity damage. Dang, if only uh, Morgan went electricity, but we got this and the elder and the Eldritch battery and the battery one. All right. Well, uh, with that, you guys, I, I think what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and end the episode here. And when we come back, we will continue climbing the mage tower. Um, I will tell you that is the first time I have ever killed Wynn. <laughs> I'm still reeling a little bit. Um, because she's usually my main healer, so... But, it is what it is. Alright guys, so I want to thank you for all of your support on this series. If you do want to see more of the Dragon Age Origins Let's Play, make sure to leave a like or subscribe to the channel. Otherwise, I will see you guys next time. Alright, bye everyone!